Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Magic Kingdom and we have dining reservations at Chef Mickey's Funtime Character Breakfast. And I've never had the breakfast before at Chef Mickey's, so I'm so excited to check out all the food offerings, experience all the character interactions, and I figured we'd come on out, ride some rides, eat some breakfast, and have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. Chef Mickey's is located right here at Disney's Contemporary Resort and since our reservation isn't for another hour I think I want to walk over to Magic Kingdom and hang out there first. I just got back from Pennsylvania so that's why I have been MIA for the past couple of days. I went up there and celebrated Mother's Day with my mom and it was really nice. We just had a lot of good family time and now I'm back in Florida. In case you didn't know, there is a walkway to the Magic Kingdom from Disney's Contemporary Resort, so you can always walk over and visit if you ever want to, especially if you want to come dine at Chef Mickey's. It's a nice little walk. You got Space Mountain over there, and uh, it's about two minutes, two minutes to get to Magic Kingdom from here. I'm thinking once we decide to make our way back to the Contemporary Resort to go to Chef Mickey's, maybe we'll take the monorail back instead of walking back. The monorail takes us right on over there, and it's much faster, especially when you're coming from Magic Kingdom to the Contemporary. It is super hot out today. It is 93 degrees out and we're probably going to get rain a little bit later on in the day. May is always the time for a lot of rain showers, especially after 3 p.m. here in Florida. So that's why I'm out early in the day. I got to switch it up a little bit. And we have made it to the Magic Kingdom. Just like I said, it was just about a two minute walk. Not too shabby. I'm not too sure how much we can get accomplished at Magic Kingdom right now, so we might come back after we have breakfast because our reservation is just a couple minutes away, but it's always a good time to start off the day at Magic Kingdom and the Dapper Dan's are out. the Dapper Dan's. I'm still upset that I didn't get my hair cut at the Dapper Dan's Barbershop in Disneyland Paris, but hopefully I'll go back there and I'll be able to get the hair cut. And now we're going to keep moving along, but that was a cool perspective, seeing the Dan's actually with the castle in the background. They seem to move around a lot. I remember when they were on the outside of the Emporium, but I like them right underneath the railroad station. Well, it looks like we walked all the way over to the Magic Kingdom just to walk down Main Street and see Cinderella Castle because we have to start making our way back to Chef Mickey's. I think we're going to come back afterwards as long as it doesn't rain. I mean, it's not like we didn't get to do anything. We did get to see the Dapper Dan's and that's kind of a cool thing. And then just walking down Main Street's worth it. But now we're going to head on out. We're going to hop on the monorail and make our way over there. And like I said, if it doesn't rain later, we'll probably come back. All right, to the monorail we go. And we're going to take this and I think the first stop is the Contemporary Resort. And then we get off and we're right there, right next to Chef Mickey's. I'll tell you what, just being in the park for just around 20 minutes and I'm already super hot. It is very humid out. Looks like we're getting monorail yellow. Look at that. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? I love monorails. Bye, bye. So See you. See you. We have officially made it over to Chef Mickey's and it's time to check in for our reservation. I'm going to go over the price and also what's included on the buffet. 
Here it is, Chef Mickey's, the character dining breakfast buffet from 7.30 a.m. till 12.30. It's $51 for guests ages 10 and over, and then $33 for children. And they've got such things as fruits of the season, Mickey-shaped waffles, charcuterie, carved pit ham, warm bread pudding, warm banana bread pudding, eggs, French toast sticks, and many, many more. And I'm excited, so we're gonna get checked in and find our table. Like I mentioned, Chef Mickey's is a character dining buffet. And they just recently brought the buffet back. And it's really cool because we're gonna see Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Donald, and I think Pluto. So I think you get to see the Fab Five and this is the only location where you get all of those characters together. And they're gonna come around and they'll come visit the tables, except for Minnie. She's actually out front and she has a designated photo opportunity. When it first reopened, they put Mickey out there, but I think everyone was so excited because they wanted Mickey to come to the table, they decided to switch it out a little bit. And uh, yeah. So we'll wait and see them come around and we're at our table and we'll go over uh, the drink menu. Included in the $51 price tag is the full buffet and soft drinks. So you can get coffee and orange juice, which that's what I'm starting out with, some coffee and orange juice. But if you wanted to make your morning a little bit more magical, they do have magical morning cocktails. And they've got like the traditional mimosas, the peach bellini, the chef's bloody mix. The Bloody Mary, Chef's Bloody Mary, and then uh, hazelnut cold brew, and a lot of other good stuff. Look at it all in there. I think I'll stick to my coffee and orange juice for the beginning. But one of the things I love about this restaurant is all the Mickeys. Look at this. You got Mickey chairs, Mickey caddies, Mickey salt and pepper shakers, Mickey puzzle pieces everywhere. Look at that. And right behind us is a theme park view. I should ask if we could sit over there, but kind of happy where I'm at. I'm going to head up to the buffet and I'm going to give you guys the full tour and we'll break it up in sections and then we'll come back, try some food and then see if we can uh, keep our eye out for any uh, of Mickey and his friends and uh, just enjoy some food. They have a nice cold selection here. They've got bagel chips and a cheese platter with a charcuterie board, sliced smoked salmon, look at that. And I've got some crushed avocado spread. Lots of good options here. A cherry tomato salad. Ooh, look at those watermelon chunks. I'm all about that. We've got some grapes, some granola, some yogurt. And then over here, we've got the kids selection. Some potato barrels, some scrambled eggs, and chicken sausage. Look at that. Chicken sausage, you don't say. Chef Mickey's always gets a bad rep when it comes to the food and all of this is new like, like I said they just started back the buffet now they're bringing back the breakfast one let me know in the comments by what you see if you think it's worth $51 and don't forget this is character dining so that's what makes that price jump up so high as it is something I find super awesome is the fact that they've got corned beef hash Look at that, you don't see corned beef hash a lot in uh, restaurants on Disney property. So that's really cool. And then you've got your regular pork sausage and your smoked bacon there. And there's, this is all you can eat. I could do some damage on that corned beef hash. Look at that, oh wow. What kind of sausage do you guys prefer? You know, I've seen chicken, I've seen pork, I've seen turkey. I mean, I do love turkey sausage. I don't think they have any on the buffet here, but they do have pork and chicken. But uh, it's always fun to ask that question because there's so many different types of sausages. Look at this, they've got some fancy food here. You got the frittatas, and then you've got a tofu scramble. And this is made without any animal meat or dairy or eggs, which is kind of fancy. And then you've got the must, the classic, the Mickey waffle there, and then some French toast sticks over here. Look at that. I can eat a lot of Mickey waffles. Warm syrup they've got. They've got a carved pit ham with pineapple sriracha sauce. They've got a carved beef brisket. It also looks like they're cooking up some pancakes right on the flat top here. Look at that. Wow, fresh pancakes. And that is such a clean griddle. That is such a clean griddle there. Look at that. Holy moly. And then we make our way down here. We've got some strawberry sauce, some blueberry compo, some scrambled eggs, some bacon. We've got some oatmeal, some brown sugar, some cheese grits. Gotta get the cheese grits. Oh, and some cheesy potatoes. Oh yeah, 
cheesy potatoes all the way, and of course, the biscuits and gravy. Look at that. I'm gonna be getting me some of them. They've also got a bunch of different like pastries. We got turnovers, we've got danishes, mini croissants, mini muffins, and then there it is, the warm banana bread pudding. I think I'm gonna enjoy this a lot. And that looks like some caramel sauce to serve it up. I wish they used these plates though. How cool would it be if these were the plates that you actually ate off, the Mickey ones and stuff like that? Oh, look at the Pluto one. Wow, that would be really awesome. Now I'm going to start putting my plate together and try a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Even though I really want to get a lot of that watermelon. That looks fantastic. And then I got to get the biscuits and gravy. For me, that is a must when it comes to a breakfast food. Like that's my number one breakfast food, I feel like. Not eggs, biscuits and gravy. All right, I think I've definitely got enough on my plate now. I've got some of the frittatas, I've got the corned beef hash, the French toast, I've got uh, some sausage under there, i got Mickey waffles, and biscuits and gravy. The perfect, the perfect breakfast. I didn't even think to ask if they had pog juice, but I'm gonna ask now. But I've got my orange juice and it's free refill, so might as well get a little uh, OJ and some pog juice. And I got my coffee too. I'm double doing it. The best part of waking up is pog juice in your cup. Alert, they do have pog juice and they give you a full glass too. Look at that. They bring out the orange juice in this, and they give a full glass for this one. That's the way. And also I went back up and I grabbed some uh, dipping sauces. <laughs> I got some of the strawberry, the syrup, and the blueberry because I want to try a little bit of everything with all my waffles and my French toast sticks. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pour a little syrup on my ears. Oh, oh, oh my lamps out. Ears first, that's the way. No matter what I do, I've got one of these little uh, Mickey irons at home to make waffles. They never taste the same though. I don't know what it is. It must be the water here in Disney. I don't know why I can't, you know, it's, it's just batter, you know? But I love it. Always good. Now I think I'll crack into the biscuits. I'm gonna crack into these biscuits. I have a feeling these biscuits might be a little dry. It was a little hard to cut into them, so we'll try them though. The gravy is where it's at. So flavorful, has a little bit of a spice to it. The biscuits, not so much. Maybe I'll wait for them to put out a fresh dozen. Maybe, uh, We'll see if they got some nice warm buttery biscuits up there later on and then we'll match it up with the gravy. I can eat that gravy. Oh, actually I will eat this gravy with my potatoes. Chef Mikey wanted me to show you guys their allergy like friendly option to like the pastries and the banana bread pudding. And this is all gluten free, no peanuts or anything like that. It looks actually really cool. I love how Disney's so accommodating. Do you know what I mean? But look at the presentation. Oh, these are little gummies too. Are these sour patches? What? There's Pluto, look at that. Oh, he's getting his ears ready. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Pluto's always up to no good. I don't, I don't even know what he's doing there. <laughs> that is too awesome. Pluto, you... You're awesome. Ooh. I love your uh, I love your whiskers. They're very springy. Ooh. Are you having a good day? Oh yes! I'm, e I'm eating some good food. Some waffles, Mickey waffles. Where's the Pluto? Pluto waffles, that's what I want to see. I want Pluto waffles. Oh yes! Oh some desserts. Ooh. <laughs> he's eyeing up the he's eyeing up those desserts yeah we had, would you like some <laughs> oh yeah uh you want the cupcake you can have this nice delicious cupcake if you want <laughs> oh you got some you got some icing on your nose though <laughs> <laughs> you booped the, uh, you got some icing on the nose. <laughs> He's eating cupcakes over here. 
<laughs> he had waffles over there, cupcakes over here. <laughs> that was too awesome. Thanks, pal. <laughs> It's sometimes so hard to understand what the characters are saying to you. I didn't know if Pluto wanted to eat the cupcake. He had icing. He just ate someone else's waffle. And then he stole a cookie. That is char that is that that is one of the best character interactions I've ever had. I loved it so much. Holy moly. It's gonna be so hard to top that. Like that's crazy awesome. Pluto wants me to cut the cupcake. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Pluto loves the cupcakes. Oh. This is too awesome. Thank you, Pluto. Oh, I love your badge too. Look at it, it's a little skillet. It, look at that. Gracie would love something like that. Gracie's uh, Gracie's my best friend. Oh, oh, you're cooking it in there? Wait, you put like a little cookie in there? Oh no, you want the cupcake? <laughs> <laughs> this one? The cookie. Oh, the cookie. Okay. There you go. You can save that for later. <laughs> Thank you, pal. <laughs> now it's time to get to the corned beef hash business here. I love corned beef hash. And I also like Scrapple. Anybody know what Scrapple is? Amazing hash. I love the potatoes in it. The corned beef is on point. And now we're going to grab a little French toast stick. A little French toast. Ooh. Maybe without the pepper. French toast and peppers don't mix well together. Shake it off. Shake it off. Oh, there we go. There we go. The French toast has lots of cinnamon on there. It's not like Tonga toast cinnamon, but it's pretty good. Hello, Chef Donald. Are you having a good day? Thanks for coming by. What did you cook today? Did you cook the pancakes? Are you the pancake chef? No, 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 no. Oh, the waffles? No, I'm trying to think, the eggs. Ah, oh, you're like the shoe chef, the cupcake pastries, cupcakes, desserts, dessert Donald. I like it, you're the dessert chef. That's even better, I love it. All about it, making the biscuits. <laughs> that is so cool. Well, thanks pal, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Have a great one, Donald. Bye. <laughs> Look at that waddle. All right, we have our fill on the breakfast food, and now it's time for the warm banana bread pudding. Look at that. I can't wait to see how this compares to the bread pudding over at Ohana, but I do love bananas. All right, here we go. Time for the banana bread pudding pudding. Look at this. I'm trying it without the caramel sauce first. Wow. This is amazing. I'm in love. This is probably my favorite thing I've had all day today here. So good. Oh, look at this. The chef is here. Oh, the chef's here. All right. My Pluto. The chef. Chef Mickey. Thanks so much for all the amazing food. You did a great job. The biscuits were phenomenal. Oh yeah, very cool. That's awesome. Oh, you like my shirt? Yeah, you're on here. You're on my shirt and on my hat. Look at that. Yeah, you're a popular, you're a popular guy. You got Mickey chairs, Mickey caddies, Mickey puzzle pieces, Mickey food, Mickey waffles. Mickey waffles, those are good. Uh, did you eat some? Yeah? Oh, well, that's good. Oh, but well, thanks, pal. You made my day. <laughs> well, breakfast was amazing, and Pluto was fantastic. Now we get to make our way out, and Minnie is waiting for us up front. We just take our receipt, and we get to go uh, meet Minnie, actually. Once we get done meeting Minnie, I figured we'd pull over and I would uh, go over some of the things I loved about the buffet, like my favorite items, and just talk about the food more. But I kind of got excited because I saw this monorail just sitting in here and I wanted to video something. Oh, look, there it goes. I don't know why monorails and the contemporary itself, it's just, I just think it's so awesome. I feel like it's just such a historical piece of Disney history right here. 
you're looking at it. Right over here is where Minnie actually does her meet and greet. And there's photo pass photographers set up for this one. This is the only photo pass photographer one that they have. Oh, there she is. Hi, Minnie. I just wanted to come over and say thanks for the uh, cupcakes. They were fantastic. Yes? <laughs> Thank you. I love the plate. It looks really nice. Very, very cool. And, uh, oh, you like the shirt? Yeah, you're on here somewhere. I'm pretty sure I got you somewhere. And it's really cool. It's a photo booth, too. Yeah, very cool. Well, thanks, Minnie. Can we do a photo? Yeah. <laughs> Well, that was awesome. I know $51 is a lot for especially breakfast, but I thought that was so good. And don't forget the dining plan is coming back, so this could be one of your options there. And uh, I loved it. I thought it was great. The banana bread pudding was my favorite item, and then probably the corned beef hash. And Chef Mikey was super cool. He came out, talked to me a little bit about some of the food, and then also he gave me the allergy-friendly uh, dessert platter, which also so Pluto enjoyed and it was really cool Pluto stole the show though I thought that was incredible now we're gonna head outside and uh, see what the weather's like before we make our way out I wanted to show you some really cool things that you can actually buy from the gift shop kind of right outside chef Mickey's they have a bunch of chef Mickey's merchandise look at this got some towels you got an apron magnets look at this a hat Wow, I kind of love all of this. This is really cool. I don't know how expensive these are though. Usually the price is right on the top there, but I don't see any. If I was to guess, let's say $29.99 I bet. And then this is $54.99 I bet. There's no prices on any of them. I want to see how close I am though. Oh, I think I found a price. $39.99 for the apron. I was pretty close there. It's pretty close and nothing yet on this. I don't see any prices. But that's really cool. Oh wait, they even got a little Chef Mickey plush over here and a cell phone case. Look at that. Wow. Oh, they have mini too. That's kind of cool. I love how they're going all out on Chef Mickey's. Oh, and they have the Mickey soap dispenser here too. It's only $8. It's on sale. A special price for eight bucks. I think we're gonna walk out with these. Oh yeah. Oh, they have a hundred anniversary one too. Oh boy, and then they have the 2023 one. I ended up buying the soap dispenser. It was $6 with my annual pass discount, $6. I can't wait to test it out. I wanna see how good it comes out like a Mickey. Well, I just checked the forecast and it looks like it's gonna rain in just about 45 minutes. So I think we're just gonna head home, check on Gracie Girl test out our soap and call it a night from there and kind of avoid the rain but I'm glad that I got to go to Magic Kingdom this morning even if it was just to walk in and see the castle and then leave <laughs> but it was a quick trip and now uh, yeah gotta go home and see Gracie where's my Gracie girl there she is oh what's up baby what you doing huh what you doing yeah, oh, I love you. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Come on, let's go upstairs. Oh, oh, what are you sneezing for? What are you sneezing for? What are you doing? Why are you wiggling your butt like that? Huh? <laughs> Grab Gracie a little cookie here. Oh, let's give her this one right here. Yeah, this is the one. Gracie, what's your? You want a cookie? You want this cookie? Who's your good girl? Let me see your paw. Oh, right, now you're laying down? What do you want? This cookie? Don't take it yet. I'm gonna put it right here. Hold on. Don't yet, not yet. Here you go. <laughs> oh, you're such a good doggy. All right, now let's try this Mickey soap out. And take this out of this container. Six dollars though, can't go wrong. You can't, I mean, honestly. There we go. I don't know how to unlock it, lock it. You're supposed to squeeze and it's supposed to come out like a Mickey. Oh boy, I might have to read the instructions. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. I figured it out, okay. I'm gonna put it right here. Um, I don't know, what do you think? I think that's a pretty good deal. It smells citrusy. I mean, it's not the best Mickey, 
Let's just try it on this side. Hold on. A little bit better. There we go. And now we can wash our hands. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, I'm sorry that I have been MIA for the past couple days. But uh, yeah, it was a fun day. Got to go to Chef Mickey's. Wish we got to spend more time at Magic Kingdom. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.